Children's Health Care of Atlanta is committed to bringing you first-class pediatric transplant care. We offer a transplant team where every member is dedicated to your child's health, from the hospital stay through recovery. You can count on our team to provide the information and comfort you need. The transplant surgeon performs the surgery and then closely monitors your child afterwards. He also follows your child's progress after he's been discharged. We see all of the, all of the patients at the time of, of their evaluation as a part of the multidisciplinary team. We try and specifically educate the patients and their families regarding the surgical aspects of the transplant care and, and what's involved with the surgery itself. The nephrologist is a specially trained physician that provides care for children with kidney disease before and after transplant. We try and make sure that the children lead as normal a life as possible. And so by keeping them as healthy as possible, they're able to participate in school, they're able to participate in sports, they're able to do all of the things that other kids do. I feel it's very important pre-transplant to make sure children are ready for a transplant and make sure that their families are ready for a transplant, that they understand what a transplant is all about. My role after transplant is uh, to work with our entire team uh, to optimize uh, the care of the children after the transplantation. Um, this means uh, monitoring drug levels, it means monitoring kidney function tests, uh, it means seeing how the children are doing, how are they doing in school, how are the families doing. We really take a very comprehensive approach here. I love uh, my job. It's great to see kids and families that are confronting what seems like an overwhelming illness and help them cope with that and ultimately provide them with a transplant that makes them feel a whole lot better and gets them back to really very, very close to a perfectly normal life. The transplant coordinator is a registered nurse who is specially trained to help you and your family arrange your child's care before, during, and after the transplant. What we try to do is provide information, educational materials to help clarify the transplant process for patients and families. And we're with the families when they get their transplant and we are there to discharge them, which means that we begin right there showing the medications, explaining to the family and the child how to administer their meds. We then will follow them at the clinic weekly for multiple months. We get to track these kids throughout the entire process. I'm a mother, so it's easy to connect with the families. You can um, understand you know, the pain that the family's going through and, and just be able to support them. The families are terrific. The kids, to watch them have a successful transplant, to watch a child who was developmentally behind, not growing, not able to eat, and all of a sudden you're in clinic and this child comes and runs and grabs your leg, and they're just living life. The program data coordinator will be one of the first individuals your family will come in contact with. She'll schedule your child's initial evaluation. There is a big team. I work alongside the physicians, the coordinators, my manager, the director. They contact me for different things like lab results, uh, scheduling different procedures, especially on the back end when a patient has already been transplanted. Then when they come in the clinic, they contact me for things like if a patient needs to be scheduled for a radiology procedure, biopsies, things like that. It's all about key communication throughout that team. Undergoing a transplant can be a stressful experience for your child. Our child life specialists are here to help ease your child's fears and anxieties. Child life specialist is somebody that helps kids understand what's going on in the hospital, understand what procedures, like what exactly are they going to feel, what are they going to see, what are they going to smell, because kids understand things through their senses a little bit more than grown-ups do. Play is a child's job, so in order to make the hospital a little bit more normal and in order for them to kind of understand that things are going to be okay, we allow them to play. As far as um, it being scary to understand what's going on, it's a whole lot scarier to not know what's going on. So medical play is one of the things that we use to help kids cope with what's going on in the hospital and work through feelings. And they can actually play doctor and we use real medical equipment. We talk a lot about what medical equipment does. and. 
what it does for them and what it does for the doctor and they can actually kind of play doctor and work through those feelings and kind of have a little bit more control, have that power that they perceive the doctors to have. If your child is in the hospital for longer than a couple of days, Children's has teachers to help your child keep up with his schoolwork. A lot of families are very surprised. Usually the parents are, are excited to hear that there's a school teacher on staff. The kids aren't always um, really excited about doing schoolwork while they're at the hospital. I think they think they're, they're getting a little bit of a break, but that's not quite the case. Usually they don't want to fall behind. They want to stay at the same place in the book as their classmates are, and they want to be able to go back and participate in class discussions. And with me helping them, then hopefully they are able to do that and be just one of the kids again. Your social worker can help with questions you may have about the organ donor and about Medicaid and insurance issues. He'll help you arrange the basics of everyday living while your child is undergoing the transplant and will provide support for any emergency matters that may arise. We work with uh, a lot of problems that uh, families have with insurance, schools, compliance with medications, getting to and from appointments. We're problem solvers. We take care of the family and the family's needs so that the, the medical personnel, the doctors and the coordinators can address the medical issues without having interference from uh, life issues <laughs> outside of the medical realm. After a transplant, eating right is more important than ever. Your nutritionist will determine your child's needs based on his growth and development patterns and will then develop a healthy eating plan you can follow at home. There's a lot of challenges that go into each patient and figuring out their specific nutritional needs and how to optimize their therapy to promote growth and a healthy lifestyle for them. Generally, I see um, pretty dramatic changes in a child um, seeing them before transplant and then seeing them after transplant. It's amazing to see what happens when a child has a kidney that's working properly to see how their growth will just take off. Some families find it helpful to discuss spiritual issues with one of our hospital chaplains or to spend some quiet time in our chapel which is open 24 hours a day. At Children's, we understand that major surgery can cause a financial strain for any family. That's why we provide you with access to a financial counselor. During the transplant evaluation, the counselor will review your current insurance policy for how it pertains to transplants. She'll also go over other programs that may offer you financial assistance. A kidney transplant is a very costly endeavor that's covered by insurance or by government assistance. Be sure to communicate your insurance status with the transplant team. It's important for families to maintain insurance coverage after the transplant. If you have any questions, you can contact the financial counselor or other members of the transplant team. I always let the parents know that I am I am their person, I'm their source for any type of billing questions, insurance questions, money problems. Um, they shouldn't have that worry when they come to the institution because they're already worried about their children. Children supports every aspect of transplant, providing guidance and answers when you need them most.